Now to the latest on the crisis in Afghanistan. President Joe Biden is promising America's fight against terrorism will not stop with the end of the war. He said it has moved to what's called over the horizon capabilities. They'll use drone strikes to target terrorist organizations without American boots on the ground. The Taliban has now taken over the country with millions of dollars worth of weaponry and military hardware given to the Afghan army by the United States. Up to 200 Americans who wanted to leave before the August 31st deadline remain in the country. To that end, West Michigan Congressman Bill Heisinger says he is in contact with a person in his district whose fiance is fighting to get out of Afghanistan. In a recent Facebook video, Heisinger says the woman tried three times to get to the Kabul airport to be evacuated. On the third time, he says she was beaten so badly she needed medical attention. He says she has a letter from the State Department that would have allowed her to get out but she could not physically get there, and now she is trapped. On the 30th, she was calling him saying, I'm seeing all these airplanes leave. I'm seeing all this activity. All of the soldiers have disappeared from the streets. Are they going to abandon me? And um, sadly, that is exactly what happened. The State Department had better stay on top of this. Uh, they're going to have some answers. There are some, some really tough questions. Uh, on both sides of the aisle, and uh, I just hope and pray that they have some answers, but so far, nothing. Representative Heisinger also says he has not been given any update on a Marine from the 2nd District, whom he says, or he was told, was injured during the attack on the Kabul airport last week.